All right, so this Power Wheels or Ride On toy is actually my buddy's or my buddy's son's, and it is a Jeep styled Ride On toy for kids. It's got some cool features forward, reverse, high speed, low speed, and you can control your children with a remote. This thing's pretty cool, but we're gonna make it even cooler. This thing has one 12 volt battery powering two different motors on the rear wheels. So, as you can imagine, it's not the fastest thing in the world. It's also not the most convenient thing in the world because when it runs out of batteries, you've gotta go dock it to your wall and let it sit there for six to eight hours. We're gonna solve both of those problems today. We're gonna to be converting this to a Milwaukee powered Jeep. You can actually do this with any batteries that you have for power tools, whether it's Works or DeWalt, or if you have Bauer stuff. Whatever platform you have, if it has an 18 to 24 volt battery, you're pretty good and you can convert all your kids' toys to use the same batteries that you aren't using to improve your home. Like I said, this is gonna solve those two main issues. The first issue being, well, it's kind of slow. So we're technically over volting. Mm -hmm. Also, when the battery is dead, you pop out one battery, pop a new battery pack in, and they're back on the road. No waiting for it to charge. They can be driving it while you're charging your other battery. So because my buddy has mostly Milwaukee tools and batteries, and this thing is red, we're gonna make it into a Milwaukee powered Jeep. Let's get to it. For ease of use and showing you for the first time, I have bought a kit that has everything included. So you get this one box, it's got the speed controller, it's got the low voltage protection, it's got the wiring and the adapter for your battery to plug in. So this is an easy, almost plug and play solution and we're gonna show you how to do it here. Okay, so this is what comes in the box. We've got the motor controller, which is this little guy over here. This is cool because it's pretty small and it's got a variable speed knob. So as your, your child gets older, you can kind of crank up the speed. This is your adapter. And like I said, we're going with Milwaukee. So that's gonna go right into your low voltage protection box. We're gonna be able to set this to a specific voltage so it does not over drain your battery and cause harm to your very expensive tool battery. So step one is just getting the right stuff. I'll put links to these things as well as these things for other brands, uh, depending on what power tools you have in the description. Also, you might need some wiring, so I'll link some of those as well. Step two is gonna be disassembling this thing so we can figure out where the battery is and where we're gonna put the new stuff. Looking at these back tires, you can kind of see right there in the center, there's a motor and a little gearbox driving this wheel. There's one battery and two motors, and this space where the battery is under the seat would be perfect for us to stuff all of our stuff in. Okay, so like we saw, the battery is under the seat, so let's start by popping that off. Boom, it's as easy as that. Oh, a little dirty in there, but you know, children. Look at that tiny battery that's powering these two motors to make this car go. I can't imagine A, it being that powerful and B, it lasting that long. So first step, that's gotta come out. And there's the battery. Just like we thought, this is a 12 volt, 4.5 amp hour battery. All right, let's take a look at what's in here. So this little box does a few things. It has the wireless radio receiver that the controller connects to so you can drive this thing remotely. It also is the motor controller to power not just the rear motors to go forward and backwards, but the front steering motor that's up under here. So yes, you could just take your battery and put it in there in its place and overvolt this entire system, but you're probably gonna kill and fry these electronics pretty quickly. Now, if you don't wanna overvolt yours and you just want some of that cool dad swagger that you get from using your power tool batteries on your kids' toys, then for even cheaper, you can get a kit that just replaces that old lead acid battery, steps the voltage down so the, all the rest of the system works as expected, and you'll still get some of the benefits like longer runtime and you're able to swap out those batteries when one needs charge and they're still driving. So the first link down in the description is gonna be for that kit and that is dead simple. You can do that in like five minutes and you'll be good to go. No risk of overvolting anything or any of that sort of stuff. Now on to the slightly more complicated version that I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put a diagram up on the screen so hopefully this is a little bit easier to understand but essentially we're gonna have two different systems. We're gonna have a 12 volt system for all of the existing stuff and then we're gonna have the 18 volt that will mainly be for overvolting the back two motors. Now everything's gonna be pulled off this one battery. We're gonna step down the voltage from this Milwaukee battery to the 12 volts for the existing system and using a relay to trigger when to turn the motors on and off for a higher voltage drive system.
and just like that, you got a bowl of spaghetti under the seat. You could clean it up a little bit, but also you can just do that and it looks great. Okay, now, unfortunately, I'm an idiot and recorded this bench testing piece of the video in slow motion, but here's a little clip and it's all you need to know. All right, and we're out in nature to give this thing a test. And actually, I pulled out the 3D printer and made a sweet design. Check that out. I mean, who doesn't love that? Cue the Montauk. Let's turn it on and make sure the remote control works. Look at it go. Does the steering work? Well, that's awesome. That's hard to do one-handed. Now, if only I had a little person to come test this out for me. Oh, look, it's non-trademark arachnid fellow. Press that button. Oh, boy. And if you think that's slow, here, stop for me, bud. You just come down here to this knob, give it some more juice. Okay. Oh yeah. That will do. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this. I had a lot of fun making it, and if you can, hit that subscribe button, leave some comments. I have a lot of fun doing this, but it does take a lot of time, so I appreciate your support.